What is up everyone, it is Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar Talk. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, roll that intro. everyone welcome to guitar talk so we are back today with the new for 2021 fender player plus telecaster Starting off with the body as we normally do, so it's an older body with through body stringing and your classic tummy tuck. And then you've got a six saddle bridge here, two Fender noiseless single coil player plus pickups, three way switch, three ply scratch plate, volume and tone. The tone pops out to activate series mode on the pickups, which we'll go into later on. Moving over to the next side of things, you've got a satin finished maple neck with a maple fretboard. It's a modern C-shaped profile with rolled edges to the fretboard, 22 medium jumbo frets. You've got a traditional 25.5 inch scale with a 12 inch radius fretboard. And then if you look at the back of the headstock, you've got locking tuners on there as well. quality straight out of the box on this I've got no complaints I've got to say they've done a really good job here fret ends have been done really well all the bits just like switch tips and all the knobs are just really good quality really well fitting parts there's nothing to complain about here I know I've given Fender a hard time in 2021 with their Mexican products and the kind of quality they've been churning out but there's none of that here and this thing has just been built really really well Setup and playability for the most part I've got to say has been done really really well. The fret ends have been finished really nicely so there's nothing catching it's all nice and smooth on both sides the rolled edges to the fretboard is a nice touch it just makes it feel like a nice well played in telecaster straight out of the box which is really cool the action is lower than you'll find on most telecasters to me um, it doesn't buzz or choke out anywhere so it's cool they've managed to get a nice low action without any compromise there the intonation is imperfectly so that's really really good and at this price point to be honest you would expect that straight out of the box the only thing i would say is the frets could be a little bit more polished in places and even though it's in tune and the intonation is in and i've checked that when you are playing on the lower frets sometimes the g can go a little bit sharp when you're playing i'm not sure what's up with that but you've just got to be a bit careful with the, the amount of pressure you're putting on it. It might be that heavier strings might remedy that a little bit. It comes strong with nines, but just something to look out for. Other than that, top marks, it's been set up beautifully.
The sounds and tones that you can get out of this thing just make it a real workhorse instrument. So I know Telecasters are kind of known as being that workman's guitar, that real workhorse anyway, but things like the push pull pot here to activate the series circuit are a real welcome addition to me. So essentially what that does is it kind of turns it into one giant humbucker. So you get a volume boost, kind of like a solo boost, a bit more gain. It takes you into that rockier territory. It's just another tonal palette to add to the instrument. And then with the noiseless pickups as well, it means you don't get that 60 cycle hum that you classically get from single coils. Some people will love that. Some people may want the 60 cycle hum because it's part of the charm and character of a classic Fender. I love it personally, but I can see the appeal of having noiseless pickups and these are really dynamic. So it's great they've managed to retain the dynamics as well as put that noiseless circuit in there. So as I say, the tones and sounds that you can get out of this thing, just take it from being what's already a great Telecaster bass and just elevate it even more. Is there anything I don't like about this guitar? I mean, honestly, for me, apart from the G-string issue where that's probably sortable through some more setup work, other than that, I love this guitar and I think it is well worth the money. Things like the locking tuners, all that stuff just helps and it elevates it above the standard player series. I love the rolled edges to the fretboard. All that stuff is great. So is there anything I don't like? As I say, apart from that G-string issue going sharp, no, I love this thing. Those of you that are watching this because you are wondering at home if you should buy a Fender Player Series or if you should upgrade and get the Player Plus Series like this, what I would say to you is Obviously, it's your own choice. The Player Plus series is more money because it's got higher spec parts. What they've done with the neck with like the rolled fretboard edges and the ultra smooth finish just make it feel like a much nicer instrument out of the box than the standard Player series. But a skilled luthier or technician can do that to a Player series as well if you take it to them. Other than that, things like the, the locking tuners they're great, it's an upgrade, but to me, it's not overly necessary because the player series tuners are great and with properly strung strings that are well stretched in and are nicely cut up, you're gonna get all the tuning stability that you need on a hardtail instrument like this. The, the pickup choice, obviously, if this is exactly the pickup choice that you're after, great. I've got no doubt that these are going to get you through pretty much any gig with any genre that you want to play, apart from if, you know, if you're a metal player, they might not do it for you, but just ask yourself, is this exactly the configuration you want, or is it worth getting the player series and then spending the extra money on getting exactly the pickups that you want? So you might want an actual single coil size humbucker in it, you might want something just higher spec than the standard single coils that have a more vintagey tone, that kind of stuff. That's all I would say to ask yourself. If this is exactly what you want, it is an awesome guitar for the money. If you are just buying it because you want an upgrade, then just consider the player series and putting in whatever you want. That's the beauty of Fender guitars is that they are so easily upgradable. <laughs>
So there we go guys, that is the new for 2021 Player Plus Series Fender Telecaster. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope that made sense what I said about if you are just considering whether to get a Player Series or if it's worth the extra money for the Player Plus. I would love to know what you guys think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it all really helps. You can find us over at Guitar Gear Giveaway where if you live in the UK, you can win cool prizes like this. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.